I'm so pumped to be here. Yeah. I just peed. They told me to say, Chris, come down. We're going to do some taping, and Jamie McMurray's going to be there. I'm like, whoa! Who the hell's that? <laughs> got no clue. I swear to God, you are sexy. If I was Jeff Gordon, I'd call you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, damn, I mean, look at that. That is just one hunk of meat right there, boy. And y'all all applaud for that. Are there no Jeff Gordon fans in here? No Jeff? Like five, the rest of you are in the closet like him. Okay. I gotta be honest with you, I'm not a big NASCAR fan. I'm not sorry, Jamie. I'm gonna watch now because you're cute. <laughs> I'm not, I think it'd be a lot more interesting to half the cars facing the opposite direction. That'd be pretty cool right there. I never understand this, and Jamie, maybe you can answer this. Every time a race, race car driver wins the race, they always thank Jesus and they always thank God, but you never hear a race car driver blame Satan for the loss. <laughs> I was doing real good until Satan blew my transmission. <laughs> I actually, I just got back yesterday, I just got back from Amsterdam, and after being in Amsterdam for a week, yeah. yeah, they have coffee there. Um, but after being there for a week, I think it's time we had a stoner NASCAR driver. And I'd like to be him. There's Chris Wiles in the 420 car. Sponsored by Ho-Ho's and Zigzags. He's doing 35 miles an hour, but he's still past Terry Labonte. Halfway through the race, I'm waving down the Hardy's car, dude. You got a shake or a cheeseburger or something, man? <laughs> this whole going around in circles making me dizzy, man. I can't take it, boy. I can't take it. So I like April. I also have kids, but mine have a long way to swim. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've got three kids, two from an ex-wife and one from temporary insanity. <laughs> I blew my rubber on turn three on that one, boy. I'll tell you that. I, I was working and I was trying. It's cool. It's amazing that I have kids. And my, my kids have always kept me on my toes. My daughter, when she was like four years old, she got up at like three o'clock in the morning because she decided she was going to make breakfast for her and her brother. Now, I was asleep on the couch because that's where I spent that marriage. And, <laughs> well, I wake up at like four o'clock in the morning to the sound of one of those Fisher-Price vacuum cleaners. You ever seen one of these plastic pieces of... Crap, you ever seen one of these? <laughs> Four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> now it'll sing for you. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, you know, <laughs> we just saw that one get cut right out of national television. <laughs> That's penis. That's penis. Go, go, go. <laughs> Keep an eye on it. Okay, where are you? Four o'clock in the morning, I wake up and. Okay. I wake up like four o'clock in the morning, and Kayla decides she can make breakfast and decides she can make rice for her and her brother. And folks, there's rice scattered all over the bedroom floor. Now I'm ticked off because I just woke up and there's a mess. I'm like, Kayla Marie! Oh, oh shoot, can't do that. <laughs> My round of applause, how many of y'all have kids? Okay, have you ever been so mad at your kid you didn't do it, but you want to grab a hold of them and go, you little brat! What is wrong? No, you call social services on me. You can kiss my... That's how ticked I was. I'm like, Kayla Marie, look at this crap. But I didn't say crap. It's a television show. Go with me. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, Kayla, look at this crap. Look at the crap. Look at the crap. What do you think I'll do about that crap, Kayla? What do you think I'll do about that crap right there? Four years old, I swear, she put her hand on her hip and looked at me and was like, you know what, Dad? I think you need to go smoke a cigarette while I clean this crap up. It's going to be more than a cigarette, little girl. I'll be in the 420 car. Good night.
Chris Wiles. Let him hear it. <laughs>